So I took him out of the brown box. This is what he looks like in box. Um, you know, there's a little bit of art on the side. I'm doing some poses and stuff, right? I'm doing an energy blast. You know, the standard, you know, pictures on the back showing the figure and the different poses and accessories and whatever, right? You know, standard um, Bandai, Sage Figuarts, you know, all that. Um, that's really enough about the box. Um, I know some people are probably going to expect me to lay into um, Premium Bandai. Um, I think me personally, um, I feel like this shouldn't have been a premium figure. I feel like if anything, this big guy right here should have been a premium figure. And same thing with the full power one, which I have both. I have both. But they're standard figures. But this one isn't the character that a lot of people wanted to see. I had to pay $130 for this. I, like, I wanted the figure, and I'm, gl I'm glad I have it. I'm not trying to be, like, super negative, right? But th the means of which to get it, that that's my point, you know? So... For some people, that's going to be way out of their price range. Normally, I wouldn't drop a bag like that. But I, I had the money, you know, because I it, it was given to me for my birthday. So, anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's uh, let's crack this baby open, and I'm gonna be really like, is there more tape? No. Okay, good. Come on out. Don't rip. Yes. Preserve the box. Okay, let's slide you out. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a little brochure thing. Well, not brochure thing. Um, oh, it's just instructions for how to... Okay. Oh, huh. Yes, he comes with different breast pieces. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Oh. Let's do the moment of truth. Actually, you know what? I've done this before, where I've tried to get it off and it makes a bunch of noise and your guys is in. So. Okay. All right. So you got open key blast hands. I'm assuming karate hands. Well, not karate, but like, you know, like kind of like open, but not kind of like open, right? Assuming this is like his, uh, for his like ultimate like time technique thing. Karate chop hands. Um, wait, he, has, he comes with two sets of fisted hands? Oh, no, 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 these are for, like, the... Okay, I'm stupid. Okay, so these hands would be for, like, if you wanted to get them in a pose like that. Hold on, let me make a focus. Like, a pose like that. I'm assuming I, I could be wrong. I could be, like, 100% wrong. Let me refocus. Okay. Um, for, well, counting the one that's already on there, right? Four different head sculpts, breast plate, pray, blah, 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 breast plate thing, little time, you know, attack that he used in the T.O.P. Forgot the name of it, and then the uh, skirt pieces. Now I've watched reviews of him from other people, and it's uh, I've I've heard that it's kind of a problem for the skirt specifically, um, because they kind of just clip on. So we're gonna hope that the skirt doesn't, uh, you know, just flop on off. <laughs> oh my God, that did not just happen on camera. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. But you see what I mean? Like, they kind of just slide slide into this slot right here. Hold on, let me... That slot right there. You know, I literally picked up the figure. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. I picked it up, and it it immediately fell, fell out and, like, popped off. So I'm assuming if I went to go pose him around and stuff, he'd... Uh, it, it, it'd probably... Probably come off, but... Here's what he looks like out of the packaging, right? And obviously, you already saw the, you know, this thing's removable, so. Um, I'm glad it's not like a clip, though. I'm glad you can just, like, slide it in there. Um, 
me personally, I never really liked hit with the um with the skirt. I I liked hit more like, ooh, wait, hold on, hold on, what? That's new. That is new. Okay, that is dope. I like that. Hmm, more movability too. Okay, okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Not gonna hold you. This is a pretty good figure. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The articulation's pretty pretty spot on. I wanna know why he came with two different breastplates though. Like is it like there's one like where he's like I don't wanna say buffed up, but like, you know, like for like attack mode and there's one for just like chill mode. I don't really know. But normally I'd go, you know, go in and like you know, go more into detail about what I like about it. Um I do like the the paint though. I mean like on camera it looks it looks a little bit different, but in, in real life, um hold on. Let me show you the eyes. Hold up. Mmm. This sculpt. I'm not gonna hold you. This sculpt is pretty is is, is pretty good. I I really like the armor. Um I really like this part. I don't know how to like I don't know what to call this. It's like a shoulder movable joint thing that's also part of the armor which is pretty um pretty intriguing in my opinion um yeah you know the articulation's pretty much just like your standard sh figure it's you know you got you know you're able to do this you know front back right bend the knee twist right here right move the foot up and down I'm gonna be careful because you know this is obviously a new figure you know don't want to do that too harsh or not too harsh too quickly because it could break um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the, it's pretty much it for articulation, to be honest with you. I mean, like, you know, cause you got the ab crunch, you know, go all the way around, right? The arms, you know, super bendable, you know what I mean? So for a standard SHV or it's, you know, even though that's not standard, it's premium. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty solid. I like it. I could definitely animate with this. Could definitely animate with this. Anyway. Um, let me see what the other, like, heads and stuff. So wait, is this just, like, chill face one, and then the other one is, like, chill face... Oh, no, he looks, he looks, like, upset, like, kind of mad, okay. And there's grit teeth, and then there's scream face, okay. All right. Well, I mean, this is kind of, gonna kind of wrap up my review. I know, I know that a little quick, then, uh, quicker than usual. And I know normally I'd be, like, expect to see him in a video... I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna film with him as soon as this is over. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. Um, I know I took the figure off screen. I'm I'm just looking at him and you know in real life he's he's a lot skinnier than he than he looked online. I, I will say that, but I remember when they first showed him off and everybody was hating on him and I was like, nah, man. Even if he's like a premium, I'll get him. And you know now now that I got him. I'd, I'd say if, you know, you're willing to drop the bag, man, it's worth it. Um, I'll drop the uh, eBay link that I got this from. Uh, so if, you know, you're a viewer, you got that, you know, you got that cash, you can get it for the same amount. Or you can get it on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, you can do a pre-order right now. Um, I'd recommend that more than eBay. I was kind of iffy on getting this from eBay, to be honest with you. Uh, just because the sellers seem kind of eh, sketchy just a little bit but you know i was kind of just overthinking it or whatever but it's not it's not a bad figure it's not a bootleg i can tell you that um you know you saw the box it's a Mashi nations bandai so probably my favorite figure of the year to be honest with you like outside of customs like this is probably my favorite like official figure but um yeah this is uh this is pretty much it you know comes with two four six eight and if you count these in here that'd be ten even though they're not technically hands um eleven because of this one right up here so that's thirteen hands total technically um would it be you know it doesn't matter point is is he he comes with 
two sets of hands, not two sets of hands, but like, you, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited that I got this figure. I'm stumbling over my words and everything. I'm still getting used to doing reviews. So, um, yeah, man, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably going to animate with them. Probably going to do something cool. You guys will definitely see that. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is Soul Train Productions signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.